For those players that are separated in that way, uh, the ones that are achievement focused and want loot, they don't read things anyway. So <laughs> for the people that were really enamored um, by the EverQuest story, um, you're, you brought up a subject that's very close to my heart. I used to be called the lore lady um, at the time, uh, and I became the, the assistant lead content designer. So I was very invested on in making sure everything was accurate. We double, triple checked all of our facts to make sure we weren't contradicting ourselves within our own lore. Uh, and trying to establish what the world rules were. So for those people that care, they care very much and you can't make mistakes. So we did focus on that a lot, but people who like loot don't read things. They still don't. <laughs> Over the last 20 years, do you feel EverQuest uh, story content has come to favor one type of player more than another? Um, not particularly, no. There, there's been a number of designers that all have a different tact, so every designer that's focused on a particular area of design approaches content in their own way. So, for example, um, if we were go to, going to go back a period of time, um, we did the epic quests, um, and one designer would be responsible for one or two of those, and we took our own tact uh, with those particular quests. So. It comes from a variety of places and inspirations, and uh, a lot of our designers were tabletop players, so very practiced in creating pretty deep stories and justifications for doing quests and stuff. Another main feature was the inclusion of broad-based instance dungeons, which you had mentioned. Uh, did instant-based dungeons change any of your writing processes uh, in regard to conception or implementation? It was a nightmare uh, because you know, content EQ would live on its own in, in the public shared space. When you're trying to deliver for one individual who may be advancing at a different pace than someone else in the same area, um, not trying to preserve the story for that particular person becomes a very challenging um, task when it comes to scripting and all the things we, do, we did in design, variables and things on players that are uh, can get a bit dicey. Um, and it's also a strange experience, very much like WoW later did phasing. Um, you, how do you make decisions about how to preserve the experience of the story um, for the player.